presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys come up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 284, NASDAQ up 87, S&P's up 25. Gold, gold contract trading down, trading up $4.30 at 2,425 an ounce. We have silver down 26 cents, $30.90 an ounce, late sweet crude. Off 28 cents, eighty-one dollars ninety-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note down seven ticks, trading out at one ten thirty. The thirty-year off twenty-six ticks at one nineteen oh four. And king dollar, king dollar is trading up one hundred and thirty-two ticks at one oh four two twenty-five. Euro one oh eight yen one fifty-seven. British pound one twenty-nine to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, on Friday, you had the, the sell-off right from the highs. It came down. You First off, you, you had a high with volume. You sold down with some real juice. Today, what we did, we got over the high, light volume, tremendously light volume, by the way, and we sold off again. Now, this is going to get tricky coming into the close. The reason being is that what had happened is that we already tested the low that was established out here, the high volume low. The bar that we had uh, uh, 20 minutes ago, that's going to get tested, the 5695. Five, We're at 5693 right now. And it's going to be all about that bar getting tested because we're, yeah, you're nine minutes into it right now. And it's not tested on this. 10 minutes, so it's going to be the next 10 minute. NQs, we go to the NQs. Let's see if we can get a little more information out of the NQs. I think it's going to be the exact same setup, actually. So we take a look at the NQs. Yeah, so the NQs will probably test first. And in the NQs, you're talking about uh, 633. We're at 619 right now. Because what we don't have, you don't have, you don't have a high volume low or a high volume high. That's that's the bottom line, you know. So when you don't have that, it's like, okay, are you going to oscillate just going sideways? Real possible. That's what we're going to do. We'll get more information if, in fact, we test this area. That I think we're going to test because if you test the area and it fails, then you're going to go right back downtown. If we get a big spike, of course, then then you'll do a 50% retracement and you can get up to the uh, what 664 number. And we're at 623 right now. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold, bottom line, folks, you know, it's been strong, but the bottom line is it's losing its momentum as it's coming up to the top of its consolidation. The top of this consolidation, you know, it's failed, you know, last two times we were up there, and that's, we're talking about the 2471. We hit it uh, in April. We hit it again. We hit 2477 in June. Um, you know, had a nice day last Thursday, but you, the follow through is just not there. Notes and bonds, bottom line, notes and bonds, they're going sideways. You take a look at the sideways move. 
out here in the note and bond market. Thursday, we also had a decent, uh, well, we had definitely had a good day in the note and bond market on Thursday. We had the expansion of volume, all of the above. Right now, the 10's at 110.30. So anything under the 111.01 is saying that, you know, it's having a hard time breaking topside. That's how this thing shakes out. We go to the dollar. Now, the dollar, uh, now this is where we're going to have some divergence. The dollar, my take is that we're not going to get above this higher range once again. We broke, and we broke down with conviction in a, in a monster way. So the, the higher range starts in the dollar, 104.976, you know, which is only 700 ticks, okay? But my take here, you know, we'll see how this shakes out, but my take is that we're going to be going lower in the dollar, and, you know, normally markets love that. Now, we hit a high, there's no doubt about that, uh, but you don't have the same type of momentum that we've had actually in the last couple of weeks, you know, because you, you're hitting it as of Friday, you get up there, you pull back quick. This morning, exact same type of deal. Uh, so this close is going to get really intriguing. Some of the high, higher volume equities that we have out here today you have Nvidia down a buck and a half, a buck sixteen rather. Tesla's up eight forty. You got uh, Trump Media up uh, ten sixty five. Uh, you got Apple up. Apple's up four thirty eight. Apple's amazing, actually. Let's just pull up Apple and see what that market cap is. That market cap on Apple right now is three point six trillion dollars. Three point six trillion dollars. I mean, is that a number or is that a number? Pretty amazing. Just, it's, it's, it's a big number, man. It's a, a, absolutely a big number. You know, over the weekend, unfortunately, the whole 20-year-old going after Trump, disaster. Um, I'm sure if you've seen any of the footage, my, my take is, man, the Secret Service should all be fired. It's like, not, this like the gang that couldn't street, shoot straight. I mean, it, it's hard to comprehend, number one, that you can get a shooter on a roof. 120 mile yards, yards away. And then number two, after the shots go off, I mean, did you see that, that take? I mean, he could have got taken out about three times after that, in two seconds. It's like the gang that couldn't shoot straight. And the sickest part is that you have these politicians sticking up for the Secret Service. It's like, what are you out of your mind? That, 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 my take, the, the Secret Service, that film footage of the Secret Service was just as bad as Biden in the Trump campaign, the meaning at the, the debate. I mean, it was insane. It's like, are you kidding me, man? Like, anyway, thank God he's, everything, he's all right. Because it's like, it's, it's pretty sick, man. And just so you can understand something, 140 yards away, folks, okay, is so easy to take a target. It's insane. It's like, that is nothing when you're talking about an AR-15, okay? It's not even close, okay? Just to give you uh, an idea, so if you're a marksman in the, in the Marines, right, what happens is that you get to stand up and you hit 300 yards standing up. At 400 yards, you sit down and hit the target. At 500 yards, you're laying down and you can still hit the target. <laughs> Sick. Anyway, glad everyone's all right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 309, NASDAQ's up 107, S&P's up 29. So uh, uh, Trump just uh, has his running mate, it's J.D. Vance, 39 years old, uh, senator from uh, Ohio. Uh, bottom line. But so here comes the action. You know, bottom line, at least he's young. <laughs> Other than that, who, who knows where this thing's going to go. But 39 years old. Uh, and uh, so that's the ticket. The ticket's there. Didn't do much for the market. That's the bottom line. And I don't think anything's going to do much for the market right now. My take is that this correction has actually started. Uh, so we'll see uh, how this does shake out if, in fact, uh, we're even close to <laughs> uh, a correction happening. We go take a look at the uh, let's go look at the small caps because they, you know, of course, what happened since last Thursday and we're talking about the small caps, they explode topside, and that's how small caps go. I mean, in three days, we just went from 201 to 217. And that's, what, what that is underlying, actually, it's underlying small commodity stocks. That's what it is. Um, that being said, what we just did is that we actually took out that swing of, uh, of 211 with volume. So, let me see this on a weekly. Real question. Yeah, you could say it's an ABC up. We needed volume. Let's see. We needed volume of 183 million. And we got, oh, interesting, 174. Okay, you didn't get the full juice. That being said, I can see. Let's just see. Let me put this on a monthly. So now, what it's doing right now is this. It's, it's digging into the lows of the last high that was generated out here on November of 2021. Now, that being said, when you take a look at the monthly, look at the monthlies out here. See how the monthly, the volume's going, been going down dramatically? So we're dealing with uh, what? We're dealing with... Oops. That calendar. Okay, so we're halfway through the month, and it's not even close volume-wise. What's going to happen here? We we have volume of only two eighty-four, and you're dealing with uh, yeah, like six hundred and eighty million you need. So the small caps are going to fail again, man. They they they. I suspect you're going. You, 
it's the 215 or 21795 21588 is the lows of the high and i suspect what you're going to see there is just a failure once again uh, inside of the NDX. Now let's look at the NDX because what did happen, what was interesting on the, the way down after we hit highs today with the uh, S&P as well as the NASDAQ. We didn't hit highs in the NASDAQ, but meaning it was a higher price. The NDX, actually, the NQs, came down a lot faster than the S&Ps. So, and they got just, just a tear lower too. So this is going to get pretty wild. Okay, so here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so when I started the show, I was talking about that uh, that bar, three bars ahead of us. And what you had there is a failure. Okay, so what we did is this. We went up and tested it. We tested it with 7,900 contracts versus 11,900 contracts. So we're going south. Okay, so that's on the, that's on the NQs. The ES... Same deal. Let's see. We tested it with uh, 18,900 versus 36,000. Okay, so the pressure is still going to be downtown here. We don't have a high volume low. You know, it's like, okay, you're going to go to the bottom. You know, we'll see where it goes to the bottom. But it's probably going to get kind of sloppy, actually. That's what I suspect is going to happen here. You know, I, don't, I don't see a lot of conviction either way. And then, of course, the Mondays in the summer... On the, on the bigger picture, we're at $417 million on the NYSE. We did nine fifty on Friday. We'll probably do around the same thing. On the composite, we're at $4.3. We're probably going to do $5.2 or something. Uh, if I look at CCMP... Yeah, this is... This is this is setting up the next next leg down because you got to remember something that the last Thursday that's a high volume low so that's going to want to be tested now when we go to the spy you can see that we've already tested the high volume high we did that Thursday see Thursday we came down with uh, 53 million Friday you go up with 53 million we just tested that and we have 24 million so we're going to probably do, let's see, 24 past. Yeah, we'll do 34 million. But if the correlation is going to be 34 million versus 53. The real kicker here is that 563.87, which, you know, we know how this goes. If you close higher than that, guess what? You can go higher. We close lower. That's a failure on price, failure on volume. We haven't had one of those in a long time. You know, we've had markets that have gone up with light volume, but we haven't gone over the price, closed under the price, had light of volume after coming down with volume. That's that's the whole that's the whole key here. That you know that the sellers now, you know there's not as many buyers. We're in the summer. You you definitely have in the summer you can get well, at any time you can get down drafts, okay? Meaning that there's no bids in the middle of a downdraft. And that's, that's what we actually had on Friday. On Friday, the way that came down, there were just no players in the middle of that downdraft. And so that was a fast, furious downdraft. And that's, you know, what you do get in corrections, but also in the summer. The GDX. We take a look at the GDX. 13 million shares. We bring this up. This is still struggling, you know, it, it's over its consolidation, but it, it's struggling from the downdraft that had been created in April. We had come down with monster volume in April. That's when the GDX went from 41 to 36 in a week. And you had an explosion of volume on the way up. And, you know, it's, it's struggling basically getting into that bar. So I suspect what we have to do there is we have to build more cars in order to get to higher price. That's how that baby's setting up. And that's 
whether it's the GDX, you can do the GDX, you can do the XAU, you can do the HUR. Actually, let's do both of them because I want to show you something when I did the gold report this morning. So when you take a look at it, and here's the little divergence, what you have is that, put this back. And the XAU, you're over the consolidation. Okay, the top of the consolidation on the XAU is 145. That being said, when we go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index, what you're seeing is you're over it, but not as much. 284. Well, I like 284. It's not bad. You're at 301, actually. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and, most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 296. NASDAQ's up 94. S&Ps are up 26. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale, folks, okay? 
Uh, we do this a couple times a year. This is how you save money with uh, uh, any and all uh, products at TFNN. Uh, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the featured content. Uh, you can get uh, 500 target dollars, you, and you get 600. That is a 20% bonus. You can buy 1,000, and you get 1,300, which is a 30% bonus. Or you can max is 1,500, gets you 2,100, which is a 40% bonus on your money uh, for our products at TFNN. Totally transferable, no expiration date. Check it out. You know, this is going on for a few more days. Uh, and then, uh, bottom line, it, uh, it will come back uh, next January. So, if you want to save some money at TFNN, that's the way to do it. We're going to take a look at the uh, S&P again. So, let me look at this S&P, the E-mini, because I want to show you something here. So, inside this E-mini, right? Okay, so, what you have here is this. The, if we take... Right here, right there. Let me do this one. Yeah, here it is, right here. So, right there. So, if we bisect and dissect this, what you, what you have is this. When the the pop that was tested, right, had thirty six thousand contracts. Now, that being said, though, it was going against fifty five thousand. So once you get a failure, which we got, and then actually we, we only got a failure, we it came down with some volume here. This is going to get interesting, actually. So you got the failure on the test t 10 minutes ago. Then you came off that with volume. So that's telling me, first off, not enough juice. Second, you got the test. Now the bottom line is going to try to grind lower. Now that being said, you know, you have some decent support right now at 5688 and we're only at 92 because it's going to take some to get through this area just because of how that bar straightened out if we go to the nqs you're going to see the same type of setup and if we don't run into the close again today that is also a different dynamic that's happening that we're in the middle of right now this one Right there? No, it's right there. Here it is right there. Interesting. Okay, so it's this bar. That bar right there, right? Yeah, this is the bar. Same type of setup on this one, too, actually. We were going into 18,000. The spike had 11. We tested with 7, 7,900. There's not enough juice up there. That's the bottom line. So we'll see in the next uh, 34 minutes here uh, in general uh, just where they want to bring this market. My take is that it's losing momentum. And this has been an, an amazing momentum market. There's no two ways about that. I mean, let's go take a look at the oil market out here because you get these oil stocks running, big oil stocks and small oil stocks. We take a look at oil, and look at oil's flat. Interesting. But watch, we go to ExxonMobil. That's up 246. That's coming into a swing. It's going to need some more juice, but the bottom line is that uh, this 130, uh, 116 is getting, well, it already hit 116.16. Chevron CVX. Yeah, Chevron is strong. Chevron is more price spread. It's going to need more juice, though. But the way this is set up... Yeah, the way this is set up, you could, <laughs> this could run a lot further. Because it actually... Well, actually, it broke its downtrend, went back in the downtrend, false break downtown, got out of it again. Yeah, I mean, that's... The way that's set up, Chevron, is that it does want higher price. Go take a look at the... Uh, see where Tesla's out here. Tesla's been highly volatile lately. They got to 265 today, gave it up. Oh, see, this is just like the market, man. 
Look at this. So we came down, Tesla came down with 223. Testing now at 127 and gave it up on price. So Tesla's doing the same thing as the market's doing, meaning that you're down on volume, you do a nice counter trend bounce, you get to 265, you're trading 255, and that's saying that that wants to go out back into lower price once again. The thing that is that now we know with the the tickets are set up. You got Trump, you got Vance, you got Biden, you got Harris, right? Because it looks to me like uh, even after the assassination attempt and all of this, that Biden's going to be the the deal. So, and then yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. But I don't think they're going to go through this whole thing again and try to figure out putting someone else in that place at this particular point. I just don't see it. So the election is on. That's the bottom line. We're going to take a look at the uh, U.S. Actually, let me go look at the TLT. Because the, the next thing that's going to be on the agenda here, folks, okay, is going to be the note and bond market. Because the real kicker is going to be like, okay, how many tax cuts are we going to have? Trump as president. Where's the money going to come from? And what is happening is that they, they've thrown a, you know, couple deals out there that they, they're thinking that the, when I say they're thinking inside the Republican policy is that the, uh, the municipal market, it's possible that the tax breaks on municipal bonds will go away. So that'll be really intriguing if that's the case. Because there's so many people that are into municipal bonds for the tax implications. And we'll see whether they, that gets uh, smoked or not. Now, that's on the Republican side. On the Democratic side, so check this out, man. This is, this is not going anywhere. I don't even know why they're putting it up. But uh, this one here. So Biden is unveiling new proposal in Nevada today, uh, on a, tomorrow, to cap rental costs nationwide. According to three people. Now, this has got to go through Congress, so there's no way it's going to get through Congress. But what this plan is, is that if you raise, this is anyone that owns more than 50 units, okay? Now, the thing that people are going to do, the thing is wild. The first thing, yeah, I'll talk about this when they get back. Because what people are going to do, now, the big apartment buildings will be harder to do. But smaller units, you can just do a dozen uh, LLCs. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 240, NASDAQ up 66, S&P is up 18. Let's go to the S&Ps. This market, they just sold into this again. So my take is that we're going to sell into this in the next 20 minutes. We'll see where this shakes out, but... Come on, baby, get up there. Okay, so. You can see the expansion of volume that we just got. You know, we just did, uh, what? Yeah, you did 11 handles inside the S&P, like in a 10 minute. You get the expansion of volume. It's more than the, the one on the way up. It was 34, yeah, 36 on the way up. Oh, no, hold on one second. Yeah, 36. 36 in the way up. Well, it was only 31. That's still not bad. This is going to go after the lows as we come into the close here. NQs. And the faster it gets there, the more selling that you'll actually see because of what happened on Friday. That's, that's how the markets don't forget. People don't forget. Yeah, you can see the NQs. You're up 66. We were, we were up 200 more points than this. Um, same setup. This is, this is big volume on the way down. We just did uh, 11,000. So let's go back to this uh, rent situation again for a second. Okay, so what's, he's, he's, the way, he's pushing. Uh, the way it would work is this on this bill, but it has to be approved by Congress. There's no way this is going through Congress. And what it would be, it would be a nationwide rent control deal that if you went up, this is how this would work. If you went up more than 5% per year, you would lose your tax benefits, meaning on the units. And what happens, folks, is that the tax benefit, you know, of course you have your, your interest tax benefit, but the biggest tax benefit on multis is your depreciation cost. That is the ultimate as to putting money in your pocket. Um, now, it has in here, the measure would only apply to landlords who own more than 50 units for represent half of all rental properties. Uh, it wouldn't cover units that have yet to be built in an attempt to ensure that the policy does not discourage construction of new rental housing. Bottom line, this ain't going anywhere, man. Yeah, not even close. It's amazing to me that you can come up with these things, and one of the quickest ways, you know, that you want housing, man, guess what? Bottom line, open up zoning. It's, it's, that, it's, it's one of those deals that, you know, is that cut and dry. Because when you open up zoning, instead of building, you know, singles, you're building apartments. You know, bottom line is that, yeah, I, I built a lot of singles, and... They've opened up the zoning somewhat in St. Pete. When they did, though, bottom line, I had one, well, I got more than one parcel. But the parcels that I have, they just went from singles to multi. So all of a sudden, on 5,000 square feet, just so you understand how this works, on 5,000 square feet, I'd, from 5,000 to 6,250 down in St. Pete, 
That's where you'd be building singles. Now I can build six units on it, and I'm building six units on it. So you can see you get a small builder. I mean, like I'm a, we're like a raindrop compared to big builders, right? So what ends up happening is that you can see, though, even when a small builder can do six units where you did one, and if I add up the other lots that I have right next to them, you know, you're talking a lot of units. You're talking over 50 units on one, two, three. I'm not talking actually more than 50 units on one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, on four more lots. So on four more lots that would have had only four singles, you're talking almost, it's over 50. I have to, I'd have to actually calculate it. But the bottom line is that you can, that's how <laughs> you start pushing that many units out. Guess what? It's tough to put rents up when all those units are coming on. You know, so we'll see, you know, well, we're not going to see where that's going to go because that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, S&Ps again. Let's, now, let's see. It's 347. So this can actually get negative right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Now you're blowing away. One second. Let me see this. This is a much larger ABC down now. On 47. So we're at 47. Yep. You could do the whole thing. So check this out, man. Okay, get ready for this for tomorrow, man. Okay, check this out. What do we got here? So, 57.18. It's a monster ABC down. Minus 56.76. 56.76. It's, well, it's only 42. Minus 56.95. 56.53, so 20 more points down from where we are right now. But that's your ABC down, even for tomorrow morning, if it doesn't make it. That's on the S&Ps, uh, S okay? The NQs. We're in ABC market again, folks, except that it's down. Okay. Yep. Same, oh, this is a beauty, man. Look at this. Oh, come to daddy. Okay. 20,797. 20,597. 20, A to B. Minus 20,643. 20,393. Yeah, cool. So, now, the, you can see that the NQ is already broken. They broke with, oh, oh, one second, hold on, let me see this. Five, four, seven. Yeah, we, <laughs> we broke it by one point. Five, four, seven was the B. We hit five, four, six, a little bit higher now. Plenty of room. Yeah, you got 11 minutes, forget it, man. You're going to have some people hanging out at the highs here, man. And it's not the end of the world because, of course, you're still right next to the highs. So we go with the S&P, the SPY, you just look at this. You're going to see now the same type of setup. You're at 560.51. It just has to close under 563.67. That's how this baby's set up. And if we take the, oh yeah, you can see the SPY broke this thing with, so on the SPY, that equates to 564, I'll just do this quick, 564.83, one second, 564.83, uh, 564.83 minus, 560.72, that's a 411A to B, minus 562.53, 558.19, yeah, 558.19, we can get there, man, if you're doing the uh, end of the day options and you're on that side, just wait it out, man. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up about 174. NASDAQ is up 29. S&Ps are up 9. And uh, let's see if for a second. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a question in the den. Now, this is really cool. This is great for everyone to understand across the country, okay? Well, the question is, why isn't there a push for all those in Fannie Mae and Freddie backed, backed uh, approved or VA mortgages, okay, to be assumable? And there's no doubt that if you have, folks, this is how this works. If you have a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or a VA, those mortgages are assume, assumable. So it's crucial that you actually understand that because if you're in that position now it takes a longer amount of time for that to go through but it will go through that's the bottom line if, if the if the person that you're selling the home to has you know decent credit and they, they're going to get a mortgage anyway that will go through and that's that's a score beyond belief and yeah, people aren't using them like they should use them. There's no doubt. To answer your question, Jim, yeah, there's, there's no doubt. There's, we've hunted them. I've hunted them. Um, and what has happened is that there's almost like two generations that don't understand an assumable mortgage, actually. You know, when I started in the business, most of them were assumable. So, um, but you didn't want to assume mortgages at 12, 13, 14%. Um, you know, it is what it is. And 
But if you were in that position, that is something that you want to put in your MLS. That's something that you want to put everywhere because the bottom line is that the amount of savings is actually extraordinary. We go to the E-mini again. So E-mini goes down, hits the negative, says, oh, I don't want to be there. I want to pop it into the close. But guess what? That ABC down, folks, is in place, man. I love it when these things happen like this because now you got to set up for tomorrow morning, which is pretty wild. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Jacob tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.